So, Alice, Simon, Into Darkness, people might be surprised, actually, because it actually is quite light and it captures hope and humour, the very key facets of what makes Star Trek so loved. Absolutely, I totally agree. I mean, the darkness element is a an extremely uh, real and scary threat, which is John Harrison, and um, we all are tested to the extremes. We all face our, you know, doom. But um, it does retain that lightness and that fun, and and and, and I think that's a testament to JJ's smart filmmaking. It seems that there's a, there's elements of the old characters that we recognise, but it feels that this is the, the actual proper new characters now. It feels like a new universe. Mm. And the, the options does it? Are limited. It does. That's interesting. It does. I mean, yeah. I mean, all bets are off in terms of you know what could happen. Any one of us could could die. Any one of us could. You know, have a different future to the our, our counterparts in the other timeline, which does exist and all happened. It's it's uh, it's great because it means we keep the original Star Trek sacred, but at the same time we get to tear it down if we need to. I mean, Alice, you welcomed into the family by your character as well by Captain Kirk. At yeah, the I know it is quite. Movie. Did you feel like that as an actress? Were you welcomed into this family? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, she's a, she's a sly one, isn't she? She just kind of got on the on the shuttle. I did feel welcome. They were really nice to me. Everyone was really nice to me. What can I say? There's not really a bad. I'm not egg. always nice to you. Simon can be a bit mean to me, but I like it. It's only when you need it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> not really mean. No, I'm never horrible to you. Sometimes you it's just only be a bit. It, mean. It's that playground thing, isn't it? Yeah, and you make people laugh. Which means you like them really. Though, I do it? love them. I, love I them. know. I have done since 2006. But your, it's Scotty's arc in this, though, yes. um, I really enjoyed, actually, because it was almost like he, when he says we're meant to be explorers, it was harking back to what I love about Star Trek. And, yeah. and he, Scotty in this film almost, almost seems like the link between the old and the new. Did you feel like, did you like getting your teeth into that? I did. I like the fact that Scotty uh, has such principles and sticks to them and, you know, basically calls Kirk's bluff in that respect. But Kirk's so hell-bent on revenge at that point, he... He does the wrong thing, and Scotty's forced to go through with his threat, you know, which is to resign. And that was really good fun playing that because I don't think he expected to get sacked. <laughs> and uh, and but what transpires as a result of that is wonderful, and it does hark back to the importance of the five-year being mission earnest. and being earnest. Yeah, the importance <laughs> of being earnest. Anyway, and this is a much more uh, action-packed Scotty no. as well. I mean, the most yeah. I think James Doohan ran Star Trek Six. He picks up those boots. And he hits his head on a run through a tube. You that's it. You, that's you, in four. But you get proper action in this. It yeah, I did get to do it. Old. It was fun. I, I said physically... Simon's grandfather was a speed, like a very fast runner. Correct. So it runs in the family. I used to call him Fork Lightning. So when I, to get into run, true. getting to run in this was, and I actually ran like I, I haven't run as fast as I did in this since I was maybe at fifteen, younger. I was. It was a hundred meter sprint, and I, I I got to the point when I was out running the the quad bike, and it was felt like I was free, and then I threw up. But did you get to the point where JJ was like, take 20 and you're like... No, we did three takes of the three. sprint and after the third one I vomited. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, because I'd, I'd just eaten dinner and I didn't know I was doing that scene and then I got so into it and I was so keen to please JJ because that's the thing about JJ is that he, he makes no demands of you. He doesn't play any games with you but somehow when you work for him you want to do the very best you can because so true. making him happy is kind of like... It just feels so good. So I was like, yeah, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. And then I did it again, running faster than a cheetah. And then I threw up like an elephant. Alice. Yes. I would just ask you about the, um, <laughs> oh, the, the, the underwear moment. Because yes. Because I've read a load of reviews. Oh, it was obviously okay. in the trailer and loads of trackers were like, yes. oh, my word. And then in the reviews, it's like it's gratuitous. It doesn't fit. Oh, I mean, gosh, what, here what we are, breaking all this news to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> good morning. Um, what do I think about that? I mean, um, are you surprised basically by... How much chat there's been about a second frame in a two-hour movie? Well, there's the honest answer, and I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to give you the politically correct answer, which is that um, I was very happy to get fit for this movie and to wear my underwear in that scene. Lovely. And just finally, the franchise. <laughs> more underwear, maybe. More running Scotty. I want to get my underwear in the scene. as uh, to at least. Can you answer the out. question he gave? Because you can give a bit of the truth and everything and do it right. The fact is, uh, th- there's ca- that kind of imagery it, it will often attract uh, people to come see the film. <laughs> and uh, it's 
far one of Alice's. Uh, it's down a long, long list of Alice's talents, but uh, she worked very hard for that scene in the film, and aesthetically, it looks wonderful. The the, the political ramifications of it are by the by it's another discussion but in this day and age in filmmaking um with the the, the competition that's out there um has there been a lot i'm I'm sweating too has there been a lot of discussion about it i didn't Uh, i haven't gone to google i didn't know i would i would say that a few people might have gone why was she you've said it very uh, i said it i loved beautifully this morning in in the press conference when you said about carol marcus being so intelligent she didn't mind taking her clothes off in front of people which is uh, sums it up on that note We'll leave it. Thank you very much, guys. (laughs) Cheers. Thank Thank you. you.